Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited of the Johto Apricorn Balls or the Kurt Balls, whatever you call them. Um, normally in Ultra Sun and Moon, you get one, you get two of each. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to use one of the methods to get them and to kind of exploit it so you can get unlimited. It does take time, but you can get unlimited of them. So what you're going to need for this is you're gonna need a second 3DS, you're gonna need two 3DS's total, you're gonna need two copies of Ultra Sun or Moon, or one of each if you want that, that's what I'm doing. Um, and Or you could have just a friend who's really nice and wants to help you out and do that, but essentially what you're gonna wanna do is get one of each Apricorn Ball and then trade it over. So let me, let me get into this so I can show you what I'm doing. So I have this unknown, it's from Pokemon Silver, you are going to need either Pokemon Silver, Gold, or Crystal from the Virtual Console, and then you got to catch a Pokemon and transfer it up to Ultra Sun and Moon. So, in Hia Hia City, you're going to want to go over here to this um, building, which is the Game Freak Headquarters. You're going to want to go up here into this room. As you can see, it had the little Game Freak logo on it. And you're going to want to talk to this guy. And he gives the exclamation point, look at that unknown you've got with you. Tells me you like to delve into history and think about how things to come to be. I've got a set of Pokeballs to give to a trainer like you. You have received a set of Pokeballs that have been crafted from Apricorns. So, now we have... Let's go over to our item sp slot. Let's, uh... Oops, wrong, wrong button. Let's organize it by type so we can see what we got. So we have Pokeball, Great Ball, Net Ball, Nest Ball, all the usual stuff. But then we got the Fast Ball, the Level Ball, the Lure Ball, the Heavy Ball, the Love Ball, the Friend Ball, and the Moon Ball. So those are that's one of each of the Apricorn Balls. The only one it's not including is there's a second Lure Ball that's green, but I don't even think you can get it in this game at all. So we have our set of Apricorn Balls, and what you're going to basically want to do is have another game and another 3DS and trade Pokemon that are holding the Apricorn Balls over. And you can get them onto your um, other save file. In this case, I'm using Sun version now, Ultra Sun, and I'm going to trade them to Ultra Moon version and then stack them up in Ultra Moon version. Now, this could be a pain because you have to, in order to do this, you have to play through all the way and beat Lana's Trial. So that does take a while, but I figured out a few strategies to get on that. But what you're going to want to do is essentially trade all your Apricorn Balls off to a different game. You can't use Pokebank. Pokebank does not let you train, uh, transfer items into the bank and out. Um, so you're going to have to trade them. And you're, after you trade them, you're going to want to restart your save file and start over and get back to Hia Hia City and get to the Apricorn Balls. But it might be really hard because you got two trials to deal with. You got the grand uh, trial facing Hala, and then you have to beat po uh, people like Gladion. You got to beat How a few times. You got to beat um, uh, Ultra Recon Squad with a Poiple. So I have a few strategies that'll help you get past this game up to this point pretty quickly. Now, as you can see now, my save file, it's at 3 hours and 43 minutes. Now, that is a long time. But that was me figuring out the best strategies, and uh, there, I wasn't really trying super hardcore to get through this. But if a little practice, you could probably get cranking through these pretty fast. Maybe in like an hour or so, get like a, another set of Apricorn Balls. So it is a process because of all the cutscenes. That is including the cutscenes, I might add. It is including the cutscenes. Um, I wish you could skip them, but you can't. So let's get into this. These are the Pokemon I chose to do this thing. Obviously, I have my unknown, but that's just to get the Apricorn Balls. So we started off with Torracat, and I honestly just started off with Torracat or with uh, Litten because I was like, oh, I never really played through with uh, Litten or anything. But it turns out it actually does help to start with uh, Litten at the beginning because then you can get some Pokemon that will help you along the way because some trainers are affected by your starter that you choose, like How and... Uh, First of all, the principal of the school, that's one of the big ones. And uh, I know Gladion's uh, Silvali is later on, but it's basically just like how um, uh, Il Ilima has a, a Smeargle that chooses a move that's super against your starter, so you gotta watch out for that too. So you choose your starter, Litten, and you go through, you battle How a few times, you go around uh, the city, the town, and then you get up to where you have to go to the trainer school. And there's a Tauros blocking your path, so you can't get to Hallelujah City at this point. 
but you go over to the trainer school and you battle all the, the students there and then you battle the principal and the principal is the first hard trainer to battle I but I would say the first pretty tough one because she has a starter that's super against the starter you chose so all we have is Litten and she's gonna have a Poplio and the Poplio is gonna body the Litten but if you come over here and you encounter Pokemon you'll get uh, a Magnemite and I believe Magnemite comes at a 10% chance in this grass so you're gonna want to encounter Pokemon until you find a Magnemite and definitely catch it And there we go, there's our Magnemite, it only took two encounters this time. So you're going to catch your Magnemite, it's going to have Thundershock, which is really good. This one's at level 7, I believe they can get up to either level 9 or level 10 in the wild, which is really useful. I battled the principal with a level 8 Magnemite, so you don't even have to level it up that much. But it's going to have Thundershock, and it's going to resist the Poplio's moves, which is really useful. So let's just run away from here, and you're going to want to battle the principal, take out her Poplio with your Magnemite. And that should be pretty straightforward. I believe after you battle the principal, you get the EXP share. It could be either before or after, but you get the EXP share around this time. You want to turn that on. You want to keep that thing on because you're trying to get through this as fast as possible. And all your Pokemon are going to want to level up really fast to make it easier. So after you battle the principal, the Tauros, you encounter the Tauros again. You get past it and you come over to Hawuli City. As soon as you come to Hallelujah City, there's going to be a few cutscenes, but you're essentially going to want to walk over here, past this guy, and you see this grass, oh, well, we're going to have to go through this side, but um, here's the grass over here. You're going to want to come in here, and this is such a good place, you need Abra for this. And I, I was doing, I was looking for Pokemon that would be good against Hala, and it seems like Kadabra is the best bet. So, Abra spawns at a 20% rate in this grass over here all right there we go we found our Abra this one took about seven and eight encounters so I wasn't very lucky you have about a one in five chance of encountering Abra so obviously you don't have quick balls now but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to chuck a great ball at it and the reason you're gonna want to chuck a great ball is because obviously that's the best thing you have but Abra is pretty easy to catch, so if you chuck a Great Ball at it without doing anything to the Pokemon, without it teleporting or anything, you have about a 50% chance of catching it. So I would recommend saving before you do the encounters of the Abra, and then once you encounter it, just chuck a Great Ball. If it breaks out, just reset so you're not wasting all your Great Balls. And then uh, you should get it within like two or three uh, tries. It took me three tries to catch my Abra because I was getting pretty unlucky, but that, that was on the unlucky side. It should take you one to two tries to catch it. Um, so yeah, there's our Abra. Obviously, you're going to want to have the EXP share on because Abra is useless until it, until it evolves, which it evolves at level 16, and then that's when Kadabra becomes the powerhouse. So you're going to have the Kadabra later on, but you got your Abra, you want that as early as possible, and then you're going to want to go over to the next boss trainer, which the next boss trainer is... Ilama, I believe there might you might have to battle how or someone later on, but they're not too hard the next I'm just I'm just showing you the boss trainers that I think were tough normally and that I found a way around them So you're gonna want to battle the boss trainer Which uh, is Ilama right here, and he's around here. He's either standing over here or here and he has a young goose in uh, And a smeargle. I, I don't know if it changes between ultra Sun and ultra moon I'm playing on ultra Sun, so I it might be different but in Ultra Sun, he's got a Young Goose and a Smeargle, and the Smeargle has Water Gun. So you're going to want to probably use your Litten to get rid of the Young Goose, and then switch to your um, Magnemite to get rid of the Smeargle, or else you'll have difficulties with that. But it should be pretty straightforward. It shouldn't be too hard if you have a pretty decently leveled Litten and uh, Magnemite. So after you do all that, the next thing you're going to want to do is Route 2, which after you get rid of the Tauros again, who's standing over here, you're going to come over to Route 2, and there's another really important Pokemon you want to encounter over here. And it has a 30% chance in the Ambush Encounters and 20% chance in Regular Encounters. So we got a Regular Encounter. Let's see if we got it. We did not. That is a Drowsy. But we're looking for Makahita, and Makahita is probably going to be one of the most useful. Makahita and Kadabra are like the most useful Pokemon. 
like in this and actually magnum is pretty useful honestly the the worst one is your starter so let's see if this um ambush encounter has got a 30 percent chance of makahita and it is a makahita okay so first uh horde in, or ambush encounter and it is 20% in the grass normally, so it's not even that bad. You're going to want to catch the Makahita, not very hard to catch. But he's going to help you a great ton, because once you get past this, there's probably there's going to be a few trainers over here. you got to do stuff with like the Surf, introduce yourself to Mantine Surf and stuff. Um, but most of the Pokemon you battle are weak to either your starter, the Magnemite, or the Makahita at this point. So you're pretty set so far. But once you get over to Ilima's Trial, this is where you're going to want Makahita. You're going to want to continue to level up Makahita as much as possible. I'm going to avoid this trainer. Let's pick up this item. Super Potion, that could help you too. So, you're going to want to get over to Verdant Cavern. I believe that's what it's called. Verdant Cavern, yes. And this is Ilima's Trial. I'll have to I'll have to admit this is actually easier in Ultra Moon version because the Pokemon are Alolan Raditas and Alolan Raticates, and those are four times weak to fighting when Young Goose and Gumshoes in Ultra Sun version are only two times weak. So you're gonna want to come over here, and I'm gonna encounter a Pokemon because you can, and you're gonna want to basically just sweep through this whole um, trial with Makahita and. On top of that, at the time, Makahita is only going to have uh, Arm Thrust, which is decent if you get all, f like, if you get about three to four, it's pretty decent. If you get all five, it's pretty good. But on this, on the ledge in front of me, as you can see, you can't see it now because I already took it, but there's a, um, a TM for Brick Break, and you just teach that to Makahita, and he sweeps through the trial. It's such an easy trial with Makahita. So that's why you're going to want Makahita. Also, you do encounter, um... Uh, Ultra Recon Squad later on, and they have a Furfru, so Makahita is going to be really good for that. And then also Gladion. Uh, Makahita is going to be really good against Gladion Zora and his Type Null, so Makahita is one of the best for the boss Pokemon. So just keep that in mind. You're going to want Makahita, you're going to want the Abra, hopefully evolve it to Kadabra, and then you're going to want the Magnemite. And that's basically my whole team. I'm just going to run through some of the other trainers that are hard to beat. So by the time you get to Hala and have to battle him, you should have a Kadabra. The Kadabra, once it evolves, it knows Confusion. And if you want to take it a step fur further and be extra safe, you can always trade the Kadabra to your other game to evolve it to Alakazam. I didn't need to. I just had a level 16 Kadabra, and I swept through Hala's Trial. So it, it shouldn't be. But I do have a Modest Nature Kadabra. That was just random chance. I didn't do anything for it. But I have a Modest Nature Kadabra, which ups its special attack. It's 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 a pretty powerful Pokemon. You just gotta watch out for some hits because it's kind of frail. But it sweeps through Hollis Trial, which is why Kadabra is really useful. You just want to get as early as possible with the EXP share and get it to level 16. So after Hollis Trial, you're gonna go Mansign Surf all the way to Hia Hia City. So let's get over there. So once you arrive to Hia Hia City, you think, oh, I can get to the Game Freak headquarters by now. Nope, it's not that simple. Once you get here, there's going to be someone on a Stoutland, and they're going to block you from getting over here. So you have to go all the way around, and you can't even get back until you beat Lana's Trial. But once you get over here, you have to battle, I believe his name's Dexio, those two weirdos over here. No, they're not weirdos, but the, the guy who gives you the Alakazite, um, I believe, post-game. But you're going to have to battle him. He's got two Psychic-type Pokemons. He's got Mime Jr. and uh, Espeon. And you should be fine. Your Litten knows Lick, which helps a little bit. Or if it's Tauracat by now, it should still know Lick. Keep Lick on it. And it should be pretty easy. It's not too hard. You don't even have to worry about it. If you got your Magnemite, you got your Tauracat, you got your Kadabra, it should be pretty easy. So you're going to want to come all the way over here and... Uh, I'm going to encounter this Pokemon. I'm going to skip through this, so. At this point, what I did is I skillfully dodged all these trainers. They just kind of, like, wander around and stuff. So you can avoid their gazes. And then you're going to want to get to Paniola Ranch. And then you battle How again, but at this point, How's really easy. You don't even have to worry about him. And then you're going to want to get over here. I said Paniola Ranch last time, it's actually Paniola Town, and now you're at Paniola, Paniola Ranch. You have to do a little cutscene over here, no big deal. Alright, so once you get up here, 
you're going to have to do the big battle with Gladion. Now, here's a helpful tip. Gladion always leads with a Zubat, but it's actually his Zoroark in disguise. So make sure you just lead with um with your Makahita, and you should be able to one-shot it with uh, Brick Break. So that shouldn't be too hard, but then he'll, lead, he'll uh, switch into his Zubat, his actual Zubat, and then that's when you're going to want to switch into Magnemite, and then pretty straightforward, and then once he switches to Type Null, you just switch back to Makahita, really easy. And then you're going to want to go over to Lana's Trial, defeat all the Wishy Washies, and the Dupiters if you choose the wrong one. But once you get to Totem Arachnid, and this is probably the hardest battle you'll encounter for this whole, like, speed run. Uh, my strategy was basically use um, Thunder Wave on the Arachnid with my- I led with Magnemite. I did Thunder Wave on the Arachnid, and um, it usually hits you with Bubble, and it does over half. It doesn't- it shouldn't kill your Magnemite, though, but, uh... It'll call him the Dupider, but you should be faster than both of them at that point. And then I just Charge Beam. You do find a TM for Charge Beam um, during the trial and pick that up. I highly recommend it. So you're going to want to Charge Beam the Araquanid. He'll end up killing your Magnemite, but then what you're going to want to do is switch into the Kadabra. And at level, at the evolution, the Kadabra learns Kinesis, which lowers the accuracy of the Pokemon. And what I did is I just used Kinesis until my Kadabra fainted. Which, you can usually get like one or two off, but it helps a lot with paralysis and uh, lowered accuracy. It helps a lot. And then once you get to Makihita or Torikat, you basically just revive your um, Magnemites. And it's still a really hard challenge. So, what I did is I used Roto Boosts on my Magnemite once I got it fully healed. I switched back into it. Um, I used Roto Boosts on it until I, and then I spammed potions until I was pretty, like, I couldn't get one shot or two shot, um, and then I would just use Charge Beam on the Araquanid until it died, and it was pretty straightforward. It took me a little bit to figure out the strategy to do, but I'll pr I'm pretty content with it, and I figured it, it'll be pretty easy the more times I do it. So, that's another reason why Magnemite's really good, and why, um, Kadabra is really good because it helps you with the Lana trial with the Totem Araquanid. So then you come down here and there's these two Sudowudos. You get through that after you get the um, trial. And then this is where I am in the game. So you come down here. You don't have to battle any trainers. There is a quest marker right there and you can just kind of avoid them by walking over this way. And then once you get down past over here, as you can see on the mini map, you're back into Hia Hia City. And you can then go into the Game Freak headquarters. So, with a little practice, hopefully you found these strategies useful. Hopefully with a little practice, you can get this down and then trade them over. So, basically after that, you're going to want to give Pokemon your Hell items, your um, Apricorn Balls, and then trade them over. You're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you're going to need 7 Pokemon to trade over to Ultra, another Ultra Sun or an Ultra Moon or whatever. And then at that point, you just restart your game and start over. It should take, if you get pretty good at it, it could take maybe like an hour, not even. If you play kind of casually, it could take upwards to three hours like mine did. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful. I'm going to definitely do this um, on and off to stock up on Apricorn Balls so I can catch like shinies with the Apricorn Balls because I really like the designs of them. Uh, most notably, I really like the Love Ball design. It's really cool. I really like the um, the Moon Ball, and I like the Friend Ball. I like all of them, actually. Like, Lure Ball is cool. I mean, I do like Dive Ball, so Lure Ball is kind of like a Dive Ball in that sense. Level Ball is cool. They're all pretty cool. Like, Fast Ball, it's a cool orange Pokeball. Same with Level Ball. They're all pretty cool, so it sucks that you only get two per game, but if you use this method and get pretty good at it, you can get unlimited. So... Yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I will be sure to answer them. And if you have any strategies of your own to make this go by even faster, let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination, and I will see you in the next video.